Oh no! <laughs> There's bunnies. <gasps> bunnies! <laughs> Don't let Melanie Linsky get near him. Hello, everybody. I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is so I'm watching Yellow Jackets, Season 1, Episode 5. Blood Hive. This one, I know what it's about. <laughs> so, the girls synced up. <laughs> I, think they, I think this was a holdover from before, too, because they're on the team and everything. Mm -hmm. They spend all their time together. I Because they don't think they've been there enough time for that to happen. Well, they said weeks. Yeah. They did say weeks have passed. But that's so. not more than one, period. <laughs> sure. I, I, I would say a maximum of two. Yeah. <laughs> um, And they are getting sort of into... A gist um, mm -hmm. or into a um, routine groove. groove. Yeah. There you go. And um, uh, the, so Jackie just definitely didn't make it. Um, th there was sort of a plot in the past in the wilderness where she isn't exactly pulling her weight. And I think she's not pulling any weight is the problem. I, yeah. Because yeah. I was going to say, I mean, not everyone is going to be cut out for equally that. matched, yeah. but um. And it, I don't know if if it felt worth mentioning. I don't. Not not a ton came from it. Her and and Shauna are in a good place. Although Shauna is seemingly pregnant, and it's presumably Jeff's. Jackie is clueless. Yeah, because Shauna mentioned in the first episode we didn't say anything about it, but Sh Jackie just assumes that Jeff is also a virgin. Yeah, because they've been dating since middle school or whatever. And Shauna's like, well, you guys have broken up a bunch. Are you sure he hasn't slept with anybody else? And Jackie was very confident that he hadn't. Yeah. Um, Which is why I'm convinced that Jeff has only ever slept with Shauna. Uh, well, uh, up until now. Although, yeah. <laughs> I have a weird soft spot for Jeff. And I don't <laughs> think it's just because I think he's hot. He but is hot. I just, I think... I think he's in over his head. I think he never stood a chance, especially with these two girls. I think that. <laughs> with Shauna and Jackie. There's, yeah, yeah, there's something wrong with your love story, honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's just, he he always seems like he's just, and I mean, this is this is pretty standard male experience versus female experience commentary, but he always seems like he's just barely with it. Yeah. And even then, he's like, well, I handled that. And it's yeah. like, did you? <laughs> you didn't. Uh, what is Shauna's daughter's name? Callie. Full cunt. Terrible. Awful. Throw her in the trash. We also didn't like her on Riverdale, where she played Donna <sighs> Sweet. <laughs> so maybe. Maybe. Um, no, I don't know. And I, I really did find it interesting watching her try to take on her mother. At <laughs> <laughs> You think you stand a chance against Shauna, Shauna? against Melanie Linsky's Shauna? No. Well, she did. She she or she thought she stood a chance. Yeah. And it's like it, it's exciting to watch a mouthy teenager just get popped. Yeah. You know, met metaphorically in the mouth, but especially because it's like she has no idea. No, I and she really should because she's the one who told her mother yeah. that she's like people know who you are, like people know this story. Yeah. Have you never googled yourself? So they went to a how it was Halloween. They went to a Halloween party, and um, Callie, what well, you literally just said her name, Callie. Callie. Callie was there, even though she was told she couldn't go, and so she obviously kind of figured out that Shauna and Adam are like having an affair, and she tried to call her mom's bluff, and it didn't work. No. Not even because she went dark. Shauna went dark too. She was like, you know, uh, this is how much divorce lawyers cost, and you only have twelve thousand dollars in your college fund. And then once it's all taken care of, you think you're gonna not have a curfew, but you're gonna be spending every Friday night with your dad in his sad apartment on the couch where he cries himself to <sighs> sleep. And then he's gonna come to you for dating. And advice. then when he starts dating, <laughs> and you're gonna be able to know what to tell him because the girls will be your age. And I was just like throwing down hit after hit. It was pretty great. I don't like Kelly. So <laughs> um, a lot of Ty. It, she I've come around a lot on her and she's been seeing wolves. Yeah. This whole series. And 
she thought she saw one outside. I don't think that there's anything more happening there. I think it's just PTSD. Yeah. But it the effect watching the show, as we've said several times, is very sort of eerie supernatural there stuff. Was- not not supernatural stuff in this episode. Something one hundred percent for sure happened during that seance. The yeah. So <laughs> this is a little bit of a hard show to recap because I don't know where to start. Like yeah. I don't know how to whether we do the past and the present or by character or whatever. But the girls they keep hearing sounds upstairs. Where and they found the dead body. And they think it. And it's like I'm. I think we're rooted in reality with this show. So I think that it was most likely rats or critters or whatever they hold a seance which in and of itself and i mean i am so inclined i I do buy into uh, a healthy dose of the the woo woo the magic and all that but i don't think they were i don't think they were activating anything magic is what i think they were doing is succumbing to sort of a group hysteria sure and i think there's probably something brought on by their (laughs) menses (laughs) <laughs> and I think there's probably something in the water. And I think Could we're be. probably going to a like moldy bread, LSD in the water, mm. Salem place, where I think they're going to gradually be succumbing to something very tangible scientific elements. Okay. Interesting. But it's going to feel like the ghost shit has hit the, sure. <laughs> the monster <Okay>. fan. <laughs> I'm not against that. That's what I think we're going to be dealing with. Um, and that's really scary in and of its own right yeah. but they did have this seance and shauna disassociated she became possessed and started speaking in french about oh how, no it was um or lottie. not lottie yeah. sorry uh about how it was hungry yeah and, and it wants blood mm-hmm. more and blood she like smashed the window with her head and um <laughs> Laura Lee really <laughs> pulled through in this episode. She just <laughs> quite literally hucked the Bible. Out I was you. waiting for her to unravel, but now I'm like unlikely voice of like reason or or, or sturdy. Yeah. Laura Lee, I'm I'm a little bit more in her camp because we had her and Ty and Coach Scott that yeah. stayed downstairs. <sighs> what M- was- Misty is hardcore trying to fuck Coach mm-hmm. Scott, and then she poisoned him. So she, I was in the kitchen making a snack. Did she, she did poison she him? She one hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, she brought him tea for the swelling, and then mm-hmm. he like rolled his eyes, and she was like, "In your leg," like as opposed to he woke up with a boner, and she was just like standing over him. Which that that just I mean I'm assuming we're all adults here. That just happens. Yeah. That's not <laughs> ridiculous. It's it's because we have to go to the bathroom. Is what it is. And but. she was like try like about to touch it, and he mm-hmm. like snapped at her obviously, and so. But I mean that she, scene. The second scene, yeah, where he like confesses to her. Oh yeah, no, that's fake. That was. He, it's he was being fake. Okay, well, so I was waiting for the reveal for it to be a fantasy on Misty's part. I was oh, waiting no. to pull back and for her to be like flicking the bean. But no, he was manipulating her. Okay, be like no, I have feelings for you too, but you're not an adult and I am, and like it, everybody else would be jealous. So if it's real and if this is a tactic of his to try yeah. and keep her reined in. I think he's underestimating. Yo, a hundred percent. He's gonna, she's gonna kill him. I'm certain of it. <sighs> I don't think he deserves it. I don't think um, he deserves it either. But she is also just bonkers, crazy. Yeah. Uh, because I, she very obviously planted a nanny cam in uh, in the present day in Natalie's hotel room. Come on, Natalie. Yeah, <laughs> Natalie knows too, and she's you're Juliet just, Lewis. Yeah. come on. But no, I think I think Coach Scott is playing with fire, yeah. and it's. I mean, it's a nice tactic. I was going to say that's the thing is like he's not a full dumbass because like a full dumbass would have just like just yelled at her, yelled at her. But mm-hmm. he is like, no, I 100 percent have feelings for you too, but like we can't act on it. So, and it, I'm starting to see, which I had faith we would, but I'm starting to see how things could and will and would unravel to get to utter chaos yeah. because this is one of the first times or or there's the implication that there is sort of a mass of girls has come up mm-hmm. a couple times where he's like, we can't let the other girls know. Yeah. And it's sort of like if another tactic could have been if he played this out in front of everybody yeah. and all the girls became aware. Yeah. 
And so it's it's I'm I'm starting to see how this could play out. It's very interesting Mm -hmm. and it's very intriguing. And I do enjoy that it is girls. And and frankly, I I like the female um, spin. I do wish there was maybe one more boy. I Mm -hmm. don't know why. I think it just might. Yeah. Might make it slightly more. It like I would. Well, I mean, if there was one more older adult man, this wouldn't. This wouldn't be, wouldn't ha- be happening. Mm-hmm. So I, I think maybe I agree. Like maybe there should have been like a ball boy or something that was like there. I just I think I think like the- Javi's too young and the coach mm-hmm. is too old. And so there's really like one viable man. Well, the so it's like the assumption is that Travis is like 17. Javi's like, what, 13 or 14? Yeah. And the, the coach is are, like 25. He's got to be in his 20s. Yeah. yeah. And then the girls are all like 15 to 17. probably. Uh-huh. Um. It's interesting. So back at Ty's house. Oh, um, before Ty, Thaisa and Van are hooking up in the nineties, mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, Nicole and Travis properly did. Yes, yeah. Um. So back at Thaisa's house it, it, in modern day. So it was Sammy who painted. I straight up don't know. He is freaking me out so bad. They got, get home from trick or treating. And he was brilliantly dressed like a sandwich, Sammy the Sammy. Very cute. <laughs> Super cute. But there has had basically when she followed the wolf, there were she went around the side of the house and there were like red blood, like blood red letters that said spill. And so they like covered it up or whatever. And then when she goes to tuck in Sammy for bed, there is like a like a paint can underneath his bed. And so they like confront him about it. And he's like, it wasn't me. It was the lady in the tree. And I'm just like. I thought he said there was somebody else first, and then he said, and that person was Lady in the Tree. Well, I don't know, because the man with no eyes, Taisa keeps seeing the man with yeah. no eyes still, too, so I have no idea. Like, she saw the man with no eyes while she was giving a press conference, in which she was supposed to quit the campaign and instead doubled down and is campaigning harder. I think that's a Taisa special. Much to the chagrin of her wife, Simone, her long-suffering wife, Simone. Um... So, yeah, I really just don't quite know what to make of that. Although I, I will admit when we cut, Ty does slightly feel like she's on a separate show. But yeah. when we cut to it, I'm into the show she's on. So because well, I was there with her with the yeah. fight, the good fight, the good wife, like sure. rah, rah. Yeah. And then at the end, we get her coming to see Natalie. And that well, cause, OK, so Natalie and uh, Misty, I mean, their dynamic is super fun, actually. So they go to confront this man who um, Misty knows through her. uh, uh what are we calling it? Citizen detective. Citizen agencies. detectives. Um, and so she goes, they like go to meet him to like get a file, the like police file on Travis's case. And they're like putting all of the pictures out and there's like wax drops in the formation of the rune. Which I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It looks like a female symbol yeah. with a spear through it or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's like there's like a lot of different. Uh-huh. I think it looks like a girl. Yeah, it looks like a drawing like a fem- of a girl. That's what it, like a bathroom yeah. when I, when it's a female symbol. Oh yes, okay. Yeah, like a like a woman's dress. Like. Yeah. So they notice that, and so basically, uh, Natalie calls Taisa and is like, "We have a fucking problem," and they like are at her hotel her hotel together. Where Misty has planted a fucking nanny cam, and so they like call Shauna, which is a little weird because it's like they're gonna tell Misty. Well, I'm. I or don't she's know. insisting herself. They're not she, including her. Yeah, okay. I think that she would have. I think that they have. I mean, they've been shunning each other, but they've been in relative contact. I don't believe anybody's contacted Misty mm-hmm. like on purpose. Um, I and, mean, do we think she? Because the second episode, Natalie accuses her. Do we think she's the one orchestrating this whole thing, trying to go back or trying to recapture? I don't know. I mean, I don't. It's not. I would I, buy that, but that also feels. It feels too cheap and easy. I. It's not that I don't think she could mastermind this whole thing. It's that I don't know. It seems like so much effort. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I don't know. She's bonkers. Anyway, Natalie calls her like a crazy psycho bitch and Misty hears. Yeah. And it hit her sideways. And I was yeah. like, would she not? Would that not be old news to her? You have to have been called that to your face. Also, like, I don't think Natalie could have been being more disengaged from participating in Misty's bullshit, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I like I feel like Natalie said that to her on the road trip. So yeah. I'm sort of like, is that really going to ping? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but they did get text messages from someone demanding $50,000, yeah. which I don't know. That 
that was almost a letdown for me because it's like, though I'm not expecting any like scary supernatural confirmations, blackmail is like, oh, yeah, we're going to make as pedestrian as blackmail. It's a, little, like, it's a little bit of a letdown. I guess we'll see what actually I mean I'm 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 a little bit at this point and I'm not trying to get too far ahead of the show but I'm anticipating it being a red herring of yeah. sorts but yeah we'll see so I mean we're halfway through yep so I think we're gonna watch the next episode and then we'll be caught up by the time we'll probably be caught up by weekend yeah so we'll be here to watch the last two episodes yeah. but yeah